this video, I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to make a bootable disc for Yosemite, Maverick, or El Capitan. In fact, it'll work for all of them. So you first choose which operating system you want to actually create the boot disc for. And then you're going to need to have at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive available somewhere. Now, I actually like these little micro USBs, which are um, only about $6.00. And 99 cents on Amazon, but if you already have a USB stick laying around because it's not that big, 8 gigs, uh, you could grab it and use it for the same purpose. The reason I like these micros are because you can plug them into your computer and leave them there, and after you create this boot disk, it's there all the time, and you just leave it connected to your computer. So I'd recommend getting the Kensington one if you want, uh, but I just thought I would show you uh, a recommendation on the 8 gig, but of course, any one will work. The next step after you have your USB stick is I would recommend going into your utilities folder and uh, taking disk utility and actually selecting the USB stick, which usually is called USB media, and uh, click erase and call it boot, but you can call it anything you want. Just know that you want to be able to find it a little bit later. Click erase and let it go through the process of erasing the drive. The reason I like to take this step is uh, it's not necessary because it's going to erase it again. I just like to make sure I'm starting off with a USB stick that's not having any problems so that when I actually run the application to install the OS on it, I'm not wasting my time with a disk that's not functioning right. So it'll take a minute to format it, but once it's done, it'll mount it and it'll say operation successful. You hit done and close the disk utility. Once that's done, you're ready for the next step. Next step is to go to your applications, uh, you know, from Apple and re-download in the purchases area the OSX uh, 10.11 developer beta or it could be the Yosemite or it could be the Maverick, it doesn't matter. Any one of the three you'll be able to do with this process. But if you're doing it for El Capitan, download the beta version and you'll find it again in your purchases area. Once the item downloads and you go into your applications folder, you're going to see the install OSX beta here. But before you actually go to your applications, you might see this window. That's okay, just quit. Do not click continue. Once you hit quit, go and find this file. And you don't have to do anything with it, just make sure that it's there. The next step would be to download this application, Disk Maker 4. Now, the reason why we're going to use that is they've made it very easy to build these boot disks by using it. So I'll give you a link to this uh, in my comments area, but you're going to uh, see this window when you first get to uh, the link, and then you're going to click over here, are available here, and then you're going to download this top one here. Once you click download, you're going to find it in your downloads folder, and it's going to be called Disk Maker x4b4.dmg. You'll be double clicking on that DMG file and as you can see it'll open and once it opens you're going to take this icon and drag it into your applications folder. Now obviously I already have mine there so I'm not going to do that but uh, when it finishes copying open up your applications folder as I'm doing here and double click on it to open it. Once that opens you're going to see this window and I'm going to close some of these windows so you can uh, have a better understanding of what you're looking at. So uh, you have a choice of Mountain Lion, Maverick, or Yosemite. We're going to use the Yosemite one to create the El Capitan. So click on the Yosemite one, and then it's going to say, hey, select and install a file. Yes. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to look for, uh, in the Applications folder, the Install 10.11 Developer Beta, or the Yosemite or Maverick, but all three of them would be in the Applications folder. Once you highlight it, hit Choose, and then it's going to say which kind of disk will you use, and I'm going to pick my 8 gig USB thumb drive, and as you recall, I called it Boot. The reason is, is so when you get to this menu, you'll know exactly which one to select. Once I highlight it, I click Choose Disk, and then it says it's going to erase it, so make sure it's correct. You don't want to erase a disk that's the wrong one. That's why I tell you to um, name it so you'll remember it when you get to this step. Erase, then create the disk, hit continue. Once it starts, it's going to uh, go through its process. Now, if there's anything wrong with the disk at this stage, um, you're going to see kind of a delay as you're seeing nothing's really going on on the screen. 
Um, it's kind of checking the disk right now. There you can see it disappeared off the desktop and uh, it's kind of doing something in the background and we're kind of just waiting for uh, it to finish. Don't be nervous if it disappears from the uh, desktop. It is doing its work. It does take about uh, 10 minutes to do, but when uh, it is completely completed, uh, you will have a bootable disk. There you go. You saw that it um, kind of uh, came back on the desktop here and uh, we're still waiting. Boom. Here we go. Now it's asking me for my admin password. I'm going to put in, and if you're not an admin on your account, you need to set up one with admin privileges. Then I'm going to type in my password for my computer, and now it's going to sit and do this for a little bit of time. Now, don't get nervous about this process. It takes time because it actually has to copy over that big 8 gig drive or whatever, but um, basically, you know, the disk image of the uh, El Capitan. And once it gets onto that thumb drive, this process will finish and it will say it's been completed. Once it's been completed, that's you're done. And all you would have to do is uh, to, in order to boot off of it, is go into your system's preferences and change your startup disk or hold the option key down and choose that disk when you boot. And it does have a full working version with disk utility, so you can actually use disk utility uh, to boot off of the thumb drive and then use disk utility to repair the internal drive in order to do that. And you can watch some of my other videos on how to use disk utility to repair a disk. But the booting of the drive is very simple. You go into your system preferences and you go to startup disk. So this will probably continue for about 10 minutes. It will say it's finished when it's done, but that pretty much is the whole process. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video and you give it a try. I think Disk Maker X is probably the fastest and easiest way I've ever seen to make a boot disk. Um, it doesn't require you to run any command lines, and it works seamlessly, and it's free. So hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy uh, listening. Thanks. Have a good weekend.